So I'm here with the Runkholz. We're in Bethlehem in the Free State. This is the typical banded variety from this region. Not a true cobra. They differ from the true cobras in that they have keeled body scales. They give birth to live young and they have uh, quite different bones in the head. It's um, often said to be a predominantly neurotoxic venom that the Runkholz has, but it actually has far more cytotoxins and we do see a fair amount of swelling and tissue damage in some of the bites. And although we are regarded as one of our deadly snakes, we haven't had a fatality in more than about 45 years. So still a serious bite, but, uh, but no fatalities. They actually don't bite a lot of people because they invariably live very close to their, their burrow and they're very quick to disappear. But unfortunately, a fair number of dogs get bitten by run cars. And in dogs, they go downhill very, very quickly. The neurotoxins really show, and uh, unless your dog gets to vet very, very quickly for anti-venom, there's a likelihood that it won't survive. So the Runkholz and the Mozambique Spitting Cobra are the two common spitting snakes in South Africa. Um, these snakes can eject their venom up to about three meters in distance, and they're very effective. They spit quite differently. When the Mozambique Spitting Cobra may make a hood and spit, or it may not, the Runkholz usually makes a hood, and when it spits, it flicks its head forward, which has now led to a new Facebook myth that they throw their venom, they don't spit it. So venom when spat, it's the same venom that the snake would use if it bites, is very effective once it gets into the eyes. Causes an immediate burning sensation, should be rinsed thoroughly with water, and uh, one should get to a medical doctor to have your eyes examined, or in the case of your pets, get your pet to a veterinarian. Uh, if it washed out well, and if the, the eyes are treated with antibiotic cream or drops, the recovery is excellent. So venom on the skin doesn't really do any harm. Even if you have superficial cuts and bruises, you can just wash it off with soapy water. But in the eyes, the pain is immediate. It takes two or three days for the eyes to recover fully.